This is Sleep Motion. Leap Motion is a motion sensing device that allows users to track their hands and fingers to control their computers and or applications. It was created by Leap Motion Inc. in 2010 and was acquired by Ultra Haptics in 2019, which combines hand tracking with mid-air haptics, creating Ultra Leap. This piece of technology is commonly used for virtual and augmented reality hand tracking, apps and game development with gesture-based controls, and performing mouse and keyboard inputs for a touchless operation. Ultraleap also provides their API for developers to use. This includes their Unity and Unreal plugins, as well as their native Leap C. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Leap Motion with Unity. Now, before going straight into Unity, you need to make sure that you have Ultraleap Gemini installed, which is a software that allows your Leap Motion to send tracking data into your computer and use that for application that needs it. To get the software, you can either go into Ultraleap's official website which you can find in the link in the description or you can get it from Steam. Once you install and open the software, it'll start Ultraleap's hand tracking service and open Ultraleap's control panel. After the service is up and running, it's finally time to hop into Unity. The first thing you need to do is create a new 3D project and wait for the editor to load. Once it's loaded, go to Edit project settings, package manager, and add a new scope registry. This will add a new package that you can install through the package manager later on. Once that's done, you can click save and close the project settings. Now you want to go ahead and go to window, package manager, my registries, and install Ultraleap tracking. Make sure to import their shared example assets as it's required if you want to try their samples. Most of the examples here uses Text Mesh Pro. So make sure you import its essentials. Once that's done, you are now ready to use your leap motion with Unity. If you want, you can mess around in their sample scene first. Make sure the Ultra Leap service is running and your leap motion connected. Now let's get to the development part. Inside your empty scene, the first thing you need to do is add a service provider. Now, since this tutorial revolves around desktop instead of VR, we're gonna use the desktop service provider. After that, you wanna go ahead and add your hands. For this, I'm going to use capsule hands because they look cool. Then you need to adjust the hands position and scale to make it more visible to the camera. Now if you hit play and move your hand above the tracker, you can see that the hands on screen moves along with them, which means the tracking works. There's more to this. If you switch your inspector to debug mode and look at the service provider's properties, you can see the hand properties by going to transformed update frame, hands, and click one of the elements inside it, which are basically your visible hands. Inside the element, you can see the properties of said hand, like its position, velocity, direction, grab strength, and pinch strength. You can also inspect its finger and arm properties, similar to your hands. These properties will be useful later if you want to create actions using specific gestures or motion, like swiping, grabbing, clicking, etc. That's pretty much it for the setup. If you want to see more of this, comment down below and suggest what I should make or do. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I guess that's all. Yeah, bye.